Welcome Capricorn to your weekend special for August 18th and 19th for 2018. So let's see what's going on with you. All right, Capricorn and love. So the overall energy for you, overall energy for Capricorn. So many of you are definitely, I feel like, yes, you're frustrated about something. Um, you want to address something, but you're not going to do it because you feel like it could um, open up Pandora's box you feel like there could be a lot of conflict that might come through um, and you don't want to do that I feel so you might be letting bygones be bygones letting somebody walk away from you or the fact that if you were to make some kind of change that it could um, just things could blow up and I feel like a lot of you don't want that to happen so you could be avoiding um, some frustrated energy so let's see personal energy coming towards you for Capricorn personal energy coming towards Capricorn Yeah, that particular person might be, um, they could be dealing with somebody else or something that you feel that you're, they're somebody else that they're dealing with. And I feel this is them either secluding themselves from you, not wanting to be around you, or the fact that they are actively kind of maybe flirting or talking to someone else. And some of you know this, I don't want to, again, put fear into you, relate this to your situation, which you could be going through, but I feel like they... And we'll look into that, but I feel like it's two things of, you know, possibly a third party that you are knowing, you're aware of it. Um, they might not be letting you know. And others of you, they might just be kind of pulling themselves back away from you. And also maybe even drink drinking. A lot of drinking could be going on um, throughout the weekend. So let's see. Clear the three of cups in reverse for a person energy from the world. Yeah, I feel that person might be moving on. Um, some of you know that this could be the end of a relationship in some way. And often I feel with this connection that some of you don't want to get into conflict because you feel like it could be very tense and you feel like there could be other consequences to certain actions if you were to kind of, you know, um, respond in a way that you don't need to. So getting away from that deeper conflict and also ending a third party situation and getting away from it and they could be doing this as well if you've been waiting on somebody to leave a third party i feel like that's the process that's happening right now and the best route that you can take is avoid getting into confrontation because you've already addressed the matter um and others of you are moving on from somebody because of that situation temptation having sex with somebody else cheating and you're putting it into it and moving on for some all right now what is the what is the um if no let's see your response for capricorn your response oh okay a lot of you are seeking a new beginning a new start so i feel like this is a weekend where you could be focusing more on you others of you could be even um, you know, if you are socializing with others, there could be activities where you're having fun in remembrance of somebody else that you have lost, um, a loved one. So you're trying to put some good energy, some good vibes into that and maybe, you know, start a new beginning with somebody else. And um, let's see, what is your advice for uh, Capricorn? Some of you could be starting a new beginning with an Aries and ending with a Scorpio. For some. What is the advice for Capricorn? Whoa. We have where a lot of you again if you feel like you don't have control of your situation and you feel a bit confused um see i always like to give a straight reading but it can relate to many different things and people that you could be going through something where a lot of you aren't sure about someone's motives their intentions and you feel like it's the end of everything but in all actuality some of you are moving on from someone right now because they're ending a, an older relationship I feel and completely letting it go so that you two can come into a healthier connection I'm in some way and I feel others of you are sometimes confused and you feel like there is hope for a connection that you did in for that that particular group I feel like you know that it's over you know which one that is for you especially if you've been through that connection over and over again and you literally saw these things happen the cheating you know the dishonesty and you know doing these kind of things now if you tolerate these things and accept that person back that's always your decision but i feel like you know what the ending is about uh, when it comes to the connection so try to use your intuition here all right now what is the outcome for capricorn 
outcome for Capricorn money um, I feel like a lot of you if you are partying if you're doing different things you could be uh, have opportunities to maybe work a bit more some overtime or something like that but I feel like uh, money issues could be getting in the way of a connection that you would like to um, be much better and uh, I feel like a lot of you are needing to maybe focus on that so I feel like you're going to try to do that try to balance things out but you might just uh, disconnect in some way so let's see um, I want to clarify the high priestess in reverse for Capricorn yeah that person um, for some of you others of you is like they somebody is separating from you so that they can focus on themselves so when they do separate from that relationship they're able to give to you in some way others of you are definitely separating from somebody who took advantage of you because of financial um, the financial prospect of that relationship um, that's what I feel for some all right now let's see messages for Capricorn for August 18th and 19th And we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Now, a lot of you may have explored the feelings that you have for somebody, but you're still trying to figure out whether or not it's worth it, whether or not you can wait for somebody else because they're still dealing with some older energies of somebody else. Um, and you know about that. All right. Let me see messages for August 18th. Then we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And that's part of, again, giving more. Um, then you receive which is not necessarily a bad thing I mean the equal give and take of a connection and it being fair the other person being courteous understanding respectful and sometimes you allow these things to happen and you continue to accept somebody back in your life and it continues on and on and on so that's part of the codependency and sometimes different addictions that you need to let go of and heal yourself from which could have a, a damper on the relationship in some way so um, it could be a change that your partner needs to make or a change that you might need to make all right so a lot of love to you tons of light tons of healing vibes as well i hope you get them and you can always go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you okay have a good one